Hey guys, it's Hannah, and today I'm going to share with you a mini book haul. This is more of strictly digital. I bought a lot of things on Audible and on just my Kindle, and I thought I would share them with you. So this is something that I did mention briefly before, but it's a relatively new purchase, and it is called The Sarah Book by Scott McClanahan. Not a happy book. It's about a man's marriage falling apart, and it's it's done in such a weird and I don't want to say quirky way. The direct summary is it's a semi-autobiographical portrait he's been writing for over the years in his life in West Virginia. This is a portrait of love. And I don't want you to go into it thinking it's a romance because it's totally not so far. About halfway-ish through this. I'm wanting to try to finish it before the end of the year. I really like him as a narrator um, and that's primarily while I'm why I'm reading the book. I'm listening to it on Audible. All of these I'm going through first are audiobooks. Uh, the next book I got, this is a long title, so I'm going to have to look down for it, uh, Braving the Wilderness, The Quest for True Belonging and the Courage to Stand Alone by Brene Brown. She is a professor at my university, never had the joy of taking a class with her. I said my university, my old university. I just recently graduated. Um, I will have a vlog linked down below, kind of a little bit of the experience. This is something that I would probably loosely call like self-help book. Uh, the little blurb from it is, because I haven't read this one at all, so I can't really give you like a detailed summary from my own opinion. Um, True belonging doesn't require us to change who we are. It requires us to be who we are. Um, she's a social scientist, by the way. So this one is about four hours long, so it's on the shorter side of things. But I'm so interested in it. I listened to like the sample that it offered and I was like, oh yeah, oh yeah, that's my taste. Um, and I've listened to a couple of TED Talks that Brene has done before in the past, and I just, I like her way of thinking. I think it's pretty unique. Uh, this next one is a book that I actually own in physical copy, and I've meant to read, and I thought maybe an audiobook will help me read it, especially since I like the narrator. I will only get an audiobook in which I like the narrator, learn my lesson. Even if it's a book I really want to get my hands on, I would rather read it on my own and listen to it with a bad narrator because then I just don't like it at all. So this one is called Big Magic, Creative Living Beyond Fear by Elizabeth Gilbert. This is a book on creative living. Um, she is a writer. She's who wrote Eat, Pray, Love, and she's written a couple other things, but that's probably what she's most notable for. And I've listened to her uh, give interviews, and I, again, really like her way of thought. I've never read any of her books, but I like that it's a book written by a creative mind for other creative minds. I feel like it holds a little bit more, um, I want to say, credence. And then this last book I got on Audible. I have another couple digital downloads, but the last one that I got on Audible is Astrophysics for People in a Hurry uh, by Neil deGrasse Tyson, and it's also narrated by Neil deGrasse Tyson. I love him. Uh, he was kind of, what would be the word? I want to say trained by. Um, he was the pupil of, I think that's the best phrase I'm looking for, of uh, Carl Sagan, who like, oh, I admire so much. And this, just like it sounds, Astrophysics for People in a Hurry. Okay. It's astrophysics for people in a hurry. Uh, it simplifies down a lot of more complicated ideas. I'm super interested in science. I graduated with like a degree of, in arts, essentially, a Bachelor of Arts, yet I have so much love for the science. I just, I love hearing about it. I love learning it. I'm just not good at practicing it. I don't know. I've been told that I'm a little bit of an odd bird in that way. I really love astronomy. I want to learn more about astronomy. If you have any books on astronomy and you happen to be just like a, clo well, I don't, I don't know you. I wouldn't assume that you're like a closet nerd. I'm a closet nerd, except on YouTube. People on YouTube know I'm a nerd. But if you have any recommendations for anything along those lines, I would love to hear it. Um, okay. So now moving on to digital things. I got a Emily Dickinson, uh, complete poems. I actually needed this for class because I forgot my book and I hastily bought it. Happened to be the wrong one, but, but I do really happen to like it. So I'm not really that mad at the purchase. Uh, I got a couple other like books that I needed for my philosophy class. That's boring. I'm not going to talk about those, but something I did get that was in my what's new in books video that the footage is lost somewhere and I'm so sorry. And I haven't decided if I'm going to refilm it or not. If it's something you really, really, really want to see. Tell me and I'll refilm it. Uh, it's not that big of a deal. I'm just like hoping that the SD card will pop up somewhere. So I'm like waiting. Anyway, this is the Never Never Complete Collection by Colleen Hoover and Taryn Fisher. And I really like the cover. It's very simple. It's everything in one place. I actually think I prefer the other covers, but this one is still nice. I just like water. But this is the entire series. It was like for very, very affordable price. And I thought it was good to have all the little collections in one place because I have one that's a physical copy. I have one that's a digital copy. And I don't think I ever bought the last one. They were everywhere. So I like that this is all in one little book. So those are all of the books that I have got recently. I hope that you guys did enjoy this and be sure to stick around. I am still doing book videos if you're weirded out by all the vlogs going on. It's just that this month is Vlogmas. I've done it every year for like five, four or five years or so and I'm just doing vlogs on this channel. So it happened to fall over here. So 
don't worry after this month there are going to be a lot less vlogs there will still be vlogs but there will probably be more book videos it's just hard managing all the videos all at once so i'm trying to get some of these videos up as often as possible but stick around after this month it'll be more back to normal so i will see you later